In the previous parts of the report we have learned which physical exigencies operate as a squad and other men serving in the CBRN reconnaissance units are facing. While Zed Squad is approaching his assigned reconnaissance target, a strategically important bridge far ahead in the so-called hot zone, we will take a closer look to the psychological aspects of such operation in a possibly lethal hard-fought terrain. We have to be aware that reconnaissance missions carried out by specialized infantrymen always are one of the most demanding tasks in every military operation. Soldiers patrolling out there far from their comrades and units only rely on themselves and their equipment. Their job is among the most dangerous jobs in our armed forces. Operators like Zed Squad who train to perform those dangerous missions in lethally contaminated terrain therefore must cope with a permanent highest risk situation. Leaving their base in a non-exercise scenario during warfare activities will always mean it could be a one-way mission. They will never return in case of being captured or shot by enemy forces but as well in case of any leakage or other damage to their life supporting systems, especially the hermetically sealed protective suit and their breathing filter. To avoid detection of their unit by hostile intelligence they must be willing to prevent being followed upon retreat at any cost. In fact this means they must be willing to self-sacrifice if detected and followed by hostile reconnaissance soldiers. In case of detection there is only the choice of killing the enemies on their trail or to mislead them by never returning to one's own unit. The last option will bring a certain death to our operators. To have a chance for the first option CBRN recon operators will be heavily armed in case of real acts of war. Their armament may cover a sniper gun, pistol, several hand grenades, optionally containing chemical warfare agents, and a combat knife. But those infantrymen as well must train to continue their fight after expending all ammunition or in case their weapons got destroyed or damaged. This as well requires mental and physical training for man-to-man -man combat while wearing their heavy individual protective gear hindering any movements. Triffst du den Feind da draußen? Nach Stunden. Moon beide verschossen. Vielleicht noch das Messer am Mann. Also auch so ein Front aufkläre. Dann wird das ein Ringkampf Mann gegen Mann. Keine Ehrensache. Alle Tricks erlaubt und auf Leben oder Tod. Ohne Publikum. Nur eine kehrt zurück. Dann bist du froh, kein Zippo am Zodiac, den der greifen kann, keine Chance, dir die Maske vom Kopf zu reißen. Der Zodiac steht dann wie ein Block. Dein Panzer. Dein Fels in der Brandung. Einfach geil. Naja, Schwachpunkt ist der Filter von der Maske. Den kann man abschrauben. Verdammte Scheiße. Dann war's das. Für immer. Egal, du musst eben schneller schrauben. Dann zeigst du's ihm. Aber richtig. Despite those fears, despite the omnipresent desire to get out of the combat zone and out of his heavy, sweat-soaked, breath-hindering protective suit, the operator must be mentally prepared to continue his mission without any hesitation. Only constant training will adjust even the best trained infantrymen to permanent operation in the most frightening situation of being fully encapsulated by and absolutely depending on his zodiac protective suit. We can judge this process as a veritable mental transformation of the ordinary soldier into one of those specialized CBRN reconnaissance operators. Will operators at squad show any progress in this transformation process? How will he perform while undergoing the real field exercise bridge explorer? To learn more, the expert audience is requested to follow this channel. Further documentary material will be published here shortly after release by our secret service.